Ladies and gentlemen, by popular demand, it is time for a one club challenge. But this is not only a one club challenge, this is a one iron one club challenge. And it is using this absolute beauty. I think this actually belongs to Andy Carter, but this is a Mizuno MP33 one iron butter knife. Going to be playing three holes down here at Anstruther. And to be honest, that is the only problem with this video i just really wish that we could have found a nice picturesque golf club to actually film this video at And oh my goodness me, you have to stay tuned until the end because the third hole of this three hole challenge is potentially the hardest, most picturesque, unbelievable par three in the entire world of golf. And you might think that's hyperbole, but trust me, it isn't because it has this view. So Anstruther is about 20 minutes south of St. Andrews. As you can see, it sits on the coast there is a golden retriever out in the ocean trying to fetch a ball on a little beach. We have the town of Anstruther over yonder. Here we have a war memorial, but just look at this. Look at this. Isn't this just like the most <laughs> incredible, amazing view? Oh, man, Scotland, man. Anyway, come on. So this one iron has an S300 shaft an old pin grip, and that really is the smallest club head <laughs> you will ever see. And it's a one iron. I mean, come on. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's having a great time. Hashtag living his best life. First hole here, it's only nine holes. This is the third hole. We're playing off the yellows. It's 402 wins. And apologies if throughout today you're getting a little bit of wind noise. It is straight into said breeze, but it's only blowing about 40 miles an hour, so this should be a doddle. It does also mean, though, stingers. One iron MP33 stingers. Get down into those comments below. Let us know what you think we're going to shoot. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps the channel out. And like if you appreciate this view of the Scottish golf gods. Oh, back foot, hands ahead. Come on. Oh, just... No idea where I'm going. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fold the guy in front. <laughs> I mean, listen, the stingers and then the stingers. That was a stinger. That was a stinger. That almost went underground. So, surprise, surprise, we're going to hit a one iron here. Into wind, it's about 220 left. Don't think he's going to get there. Just want to avoid the fairway bunkers, really. Just want to avoid the fairway bunkers. Oh, go, get right of him. I think it's avoided him. This this actually doesn't have a hosel, but if it had a hosel, that would have been a shank. <laughs> I unfortunately didn't miss the bunker. Now, we've still got COVID rules, so basically got six inches and I can tee it up. No near the hole, so I'm just going to go on top of like one of these little ridges. Hopefully that just gives me a touch more elevation, but I'm basically, well, screwed. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to open up the face, big wide low stance, just like slice across it, I suppose. If this, oh, just imagine, I mean, getting it out of the bunker is going to be good, but just imagine if this gets near the green. All right, slicer. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> Come on then, another bunker shot. <laughs> I actually struck that. I didn't hit the sand, I just struck the ball. It's a good job that bloody bunker was in the way. Oh 
Look how he's ended up over there. That would have been a perfect shot for the last bunker. I say so. It's over to the right. I can't see sand. I literally, I literally swallowed sand. It's in my nose. It's in my eyes. It's obviously going to come out really hot. So I think I've almost got to land it in the thick rough and then just hopefully it plops out a bit. Okay. Let's give it a little bit more. Same shot. <laughs> We're on the green. Cue the fireworks. Pew, pew. Is this for a seven? It is. These greens look absolutely pure. The putting green was incredibly fast. Wind's got to move it right to left. Has to. It's too much loft. So that is a quadruple bogey. Eight. I mean, it's not an ideal start. I've got a feeling though, like the next is straight downwind, about 300 yards. It could, could get there. Just feels wild today. It feels wild and exposed. I feel exposed. This is the next hole. That's the green, but it doesn't tell the whole picture because the, <laughs> we'll get there, we'll get there. The idea on this hole, I believe, that's the flag in the distance, a white one. Just gotta miss the building to the left, the building to the left, the walls to the left, and the buildings to the right, and go straight. Yep. That's pretty much it. Straight down wind though, I'm firm. So I'm gonna try and hoist this one iron up. Oh, missed the building. Oh yeah, it's all right. It's just a tiny bit toey, but it'll be up near the green somewhere. <laughs> so the wall uh, actually goes a lot further than I thought. So I can, I could left hand it, I could backhand it, but let's be honest, that's not what we want to see. <laughs> We're going to rebound it. The hole's only here with good strike. Um, pitched it up there, it would have actually been pretty close, but as it is, it's not. So we've got one camera there. Hey, David, are you going to be sky cam? So there's a beautifully shaped rock here, which looks very reboundable. Yeah, we're going to go off that one, I think. Okay, don't have to think about it too much. Bound it off and don't hurt myself. <laughs> okay, come on. That was worth the wait. Right, up and down for a par. Come on, you got this. Well, fortunately, there is a uh, elephant buried under this green. A huge swing. Judging the pace with a one iron might be tricky. And so it's proved. Stay on the green. Oh no, that's okay. Come back, stay there. Good for pace, I'll give myself that. Thought I had that. That is a bogey. So it's only five over through two holes, which isn't bad really if you think about it. Right, let's get on to the hole. It's called the Rockies. It's unbelievable. Come with me, come with me, and you'll see a world of pure imagination. And so we come to a hole which I'm not entirely looking forward to with a one iron. Actually, it is into wind, but it is also a 250 yard par three that looks like this. We have <laughs> out of bounds and the rocky Fife coastline to the left. The fairway slopes from right to left and the green is there in the distance, perched on a little precipice called Mount Doom. It's not, but it could be. And this has got to be one of the most extreme par threes in all of golf. Added to that, there's a coastal path that runs down the left-hand side. So there is the immediate and imminent danger of causing someone a serious injury, not just myself. I'll give you an idea of where this is gone. I'm actually gonna have to start this out over the water. That's the most horrendous thing. They're gonna go pretty much straight at the pin, but it's gonna be short. Well, there's a massive slope in the fairway from right to left. So I'm just gonna have to hit it almost to the far corner of the fairway and then hope it falls to the left. I mean, literally anything in and around the uh, hole here would be an absolute Brucey bonus. Oh, 
What the hell was that? It's a one iron. It has no loft. Take two. So same plan. <laughs> same plan, a little bit right to left. Let's get on the green, shall we? What a beautiful chip, eh? One good shot. That's all we need. One good shot. And the whole world looks a bright place again. Is this for a double bogey? One, two, three, four. This is for a five, all right. <laughs> oh, guys. Big thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. If you ever are in this area, you've got to give this hole a go. Get on social media, let me know how you get on. I'm going to go for a swim. Best strike of the day. <laughs>